we are going to simplify this polynomial expression by collecting like terms. Like terms contain the same variable or um, constant numbers can go together as like terms as well. So in this polynomial, we have a 5x and then a minus 3x. So since both of these have an x variable in them, those are like terms and we're going to combine those together. Then we have a plus 10, that's a constant term, and we have a plus 1, that's another constant. So those are like terms and we're going to combine them together. The plus 5y, well, it's going to stay the same and it's not going to combine with anything because that doesn't have any like terms. There are no other terms in this polynomial that have a y in it. So let's go ahead and simplify. So we can first do a step where we rearrange all of the terms so that they are next to each other before we collect them. It's an unnecessary step, but we can do it if you are confused and you want to make sure that you get everything collected properly. So I've put the x's together and then I can put my um, constant terms together and then I'm left with the 5y at the end, which doesn't have anything to combine with. So now you see that here are my x terms, here are my constant terms, and then here is my y term. So now I collect these by adding or subtracting the coefficients. That is the number that's attached to the variable and then I leave the variable the same. So when I combine 5x minus 3x, I subtract 5 minus 3, and I get 2x. Then I add the constants, 10 plus 1 is 11, and I have the plus 5y still. Now usually when we do expressions, uh, we put them in put the variables in alphabetical order and then any constant goes at the end. So just for um, good communication I'm going to rewrite this as 2x plus 5y plus 11 and now I have a trinomial three different terms here an x term, a y term, and a constant term and I can't combine any of these together any further because none of these are like terms. So this is our final simplified answer.